The need to monitor for better management of a poultry facility leads to more profitable growing trends. As a result, we have developed a poultry house controller and gateway system using the .NET micro framework. There are several hundred boiler houses on 100 geographically separated sites in one south central Texas area alone, and tens of thousands of independent growers across the country. Each of these 20,000 square foot houses is home to about 28,000 birds. In most cases, there's only one individual managing a site on a daily basis. That means on the average, one person is responsible for roughly 112,000 chickens daily. Since chicken sales are based on weight, optimum conditions inside a house are vital to the industry, and it goes without saying that better data collection and house management would be beneficial to independent growers in this rural area with a population of less than 10,000 people. The PoultryHouse.net micro framework controller and gateway system consists of sensors to report the data points in a broiler house. These sensors report on temperature, humidity, light levels, water consumption, bird weight, grain levels, and air quality. The data from these sensors is collected and transmitted via the internet to a website. The website then sends messages to the operator about issues that may need to be addressed immediately. Also, the recorded data from a 37-day growing cycle allows for charting and comparison from the previous growing cycles. The prototype system consists of five XB sensors. Each sensor wirelessly monitors temperature, humidity, and light from its location. They report their values via ZigBee protocol to the onboard XB module and then transmit the data to the serial port which is then interpreted by the C-Sharp Micro Framework program running on the board. The C-Sharp Micro Framework program uses the values from these wireless sensors to determine the need for changes in the curtain height and number of fans that are currently on within the house. A digital output module that controls the fan and motor-driven curtains is connected to the board via a second serial port using an RS-45 multi-drop protocol. The C-Sharp Micro Framework Program also uses the serial port to communicate with the scale load cell and the water consumption meter. Optionally, air quality and grain levels can be monitored using the same serial port with the RS-45 protocol. After the data is collected by the C-Sharp Micro Framework Program, it is sent via the Ethernet connection to a Wi-Fi access point, which then transmits the data to a website for display and recording. The buttons and LCD located on the board allows the user to set up and monitor the status of the sensors on the site. Proper site setup is vital to the success of any monitoring system. The first four interior temperature, humidity, and light sensors are placed in the house approximately 100 feet apart. One sensor should be placed outside the house out of the direct sunlight. A water consumption meter is mounted in the main flow line that feeds the water nipple system. This meter measures water flow in one-tenth of a gallon. A scale is mounted from the ceiling and weighs the birds as they move on and off the scale platform. This bird weight is reported based on the average weight of the birds on a, the scale for a 24-hour period. The ultrasonic sensors are installed inside the top of the grain bins to measure the level of grain inside each bin. An oxygen sensor is mounted in a central location inside the facility to monitor the air quality. The controller and gateway box should be installed on a wall close to a power source, the water meter, and scale. All necessary fans and curtain equipment cables should be connected to the digital output module. A transceiver for wireless access should be installed near the controller a wireless access point should be installed in a nearby house or office and then connected to the internet. Once all the hardware has been installed, the controller must be configured to communicate with each sensor. The customer ID needs to be identified along with the website URL and its connection path verified. This ensures that each customer site's data is logged and reported correctly. Verify that all temperature sensors are transmitting properly and have been uniquely identified and reporting their values. 
Input the water meter address and verify its operation. Input the bird scale address and its initial reading, then zero the bird scale. Input the grain sensor and oxygen sensor addresses and verify their operation. Input the fan and curtain controller address and verify on off and curtain control. Why are we different and better? This system is designed to be retrofitted into existing broiler houses or implemented into a new house with any level of monitoring. The older technology is typically only designed to be implemented into a new facility with all levels of monitoring and cannot be customized to fit an individual's needs. Major poultry production corporations have a significant investment in each poultry farm. They provide these independent contract growers with thousands of newborn chicks and grain and entrust the poultry farm with the task of raising them to their desired weight of four pounds. Large production corporations find this system a great asset to allow them to manage and monitor grain consumption through feed levels, bird weight gains at the farms they are contracting with. We can offer the individual site owner additional reports to help them grow their revenues with other data that will help their day-to-day -day operation. For example, water consumption which directly correlates with growth rates. Chickens are also very sensitive to heat and cold fluctuations, and our temperature sensors would help the operator make immediate adjustments when necessary. All of this information would help in diagnostic any problems with a particular house. Ideally, this system would be marketed as a monthly fee-based service. We would maintain ownership of the equipment and provide reports as well as equipment maintenance to the customer both on the corporate and individual level. This system could be expanded to accommodate other agriculture facility sites that would also benefit from this type of reporting and data collection. No matter the customer or the industry, this system would ultimately provide the customer with better inventory management and control of their facility. <clears throat> After 20 years of programming in C, I find the O standard to be extremely tedious and obnoxious for embedded controllers. The Visual Studio 2008 interactive development environment, complemented by the .NET micro framework and C programming language, provide a collection of objects and features that facilitate accessing the board hardware in an easy and straightforward manner. These controls for I squared C make interfacing to a capacitive touchscreen IC for production unit of breeze. Other ICs connected to either the SPI or I squared C interfaces and the scale and water meters can help reduce our system cost. Overall, these features allow me to implement an application concept very quickly and therefore allowing me to be more productive and concentrating the application details and goals. The only thing I would suggest adding to the framework is a one-wire interface to allow using more third-party devices. I want to thank everyone involved for giving me the opportunity to compete in this contest, and I look forward to providing the one-hour demonstration in June.